Hi everyone, Juliana here. Today we'll be making super easy and very tasty no-bake cheesecake cups. This dessert is perfect for any party or get together and at the end of this video I will even show you how to use it for a fancy dinner at home. Also, since we are still in the middle of strawberry season, I will show you how to make an incredible strawberry topping from the strawberries I picked from my last video. Before starting, make sure your cream cheese has been out of the fridge for around 2 hours to make it soft. First, make a white chocolate ganache by heating 60 grams of cream in the microwave. Heat almost to boil. Pour the cream over 120 grams of white chocolate and make sure the chocolate is all covered. Let it just start to melt the chocolate and then mix until well combining, until you can no longer see any piece of chocolate. Cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate it to harden. While your chocolate is cooling, make your strawberry compote topping. Cut 300 grams of strawberries in halves. Add them into a medium-sized pot. Then add 4 tablespoons of honey, half a tablespoon of lemon juice, 1 tablespoon of cornstarch with a pinch of salt. Stir everything until the cornstarch is combined. Then add a half a cup of water. Cook your topping until it gets thick, about 5 minutes. After cooking, cover with plastic wrap, store in a container and refrigerate. For the graham crust, blend 100 grams of graham cookies. If you don't have a blender, you can put them in a Ziploc bag and knead a smash and roll. Put the gram crumble into a bowl with 50 grams of melted butter, 1 teaspoon of sugar and a pinch of salt. Mix until you can form little clumps and balls in your hands. Today I'm using a silicone pan for my cups. You can find a link to it in the description below. Add about 2 tablespoons of crumble into each pan and press it down using the spoon and your hands. Make sure it's really firm. If you don't have a silicone pan, you can place them into baking cups and into a regular muffin pan. Now, for your filling, get your ganache from the fridge and whip it together with the cream cheese. If your cream cheese is not soft, you can whip it before until it gets soft and then add the ganache. If you like, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whip until white, shiny and very smooth. Scoop it over the top of the crust, filling to the top. Smooth the top to get them nice and even. Freeze for 10 to 15 minutes until firm. Remove them from the pan and add the topping. Add the strawberry compote on the top and add some fresh mint for garnish. And if you want to make it even easier and skip cooking the compote, you can just top it using fresh strawberries and mint.
you can serve it into baking cups. Or if you want to make a fancy plated cheesecake for a dinner, you can use some creativity and just plate all components over a beautiful plate. This cheesecake recipe feeling is so soft and smooth, and the fruit topping makes it come alive. It can be ready quickly for any dinner or get together. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.